AutoVolt technical features in association with Chevrolet. After the engine and chassis marriage and the complete body chassis marriage, this is what happens. The car is actually taken in for a water leak inspection. This is where they ensure that the seals that are put around the doors and on the bonnet and everywhere else does not let water into the car to affect the structural integrity of the vehicle. So it's very meticulous as you can see this gentleman over here, he's busy checking the door seals if there's any water that's coming in, just in case you get into a dam and you don't want water to come into the car. But as you can see, he's checking the, the mirrors, of course, the window seals as well, and of course so many things. Even inside, he's checking if there's any water. That's a very meticulous process and you can see quality control is key at General Motors South Africa. So we're going to go towards the rattles and squeaks section where they check uh, the, how the panels are fit. You don't want to drive a car that's shaking and making all sorts of noises. So let's go and see Mike what he's doing there. So we're at the end of the assembly line now. The car is almost ready for you. As you can see, everything is in place. It's been cleaned up. It's been buffed. Now they're just checking for any small nitty gritty things that might be wrong. And then they'll touch those up. The final stage which you're going to see before the car goes out into logistics is where they check for rattles and squeaks. We're almost there. The vehicle is complete. Every part is in. All the lights, engine is working fine, but they have to test it for drivability. This is the dynamic vehicle testing section. And the brakes are being tested. The bearings, is anything overheating? All the electricals, are they working? As you can see, there's a gentleman in the car looking at a computer, a little computer, telling him whether everything is right, all the vitals. This is one of the most important sections in the assembly line. So the car has been tested on the rough, on the rubbles, on the strips, on the bumps and on cobbles. It's finally ready to be brought to you. From us at AutoVault, we think we've given you the details. Now you know how the car is built. Trevor's given you all the details about the engine, the nuts and the bolts. We bring you the facts. You make the decisions whether you love the car or not. Thank you very much. See you next week. Chevrolet Trailblazer. Chevrolet. Find new roads. Really? You've gone far too late. Ah, I turned too, I turned too early. Ah, okay. Let's go back into the water. Yeah. We never give up an audible. Never. So guys, there you have it. The difference is just a few inches. A few inches to the left, a few inches to the right, and you could be stuck. Now, Trevor's coming. Let's see how he manages. <laughs> yes, 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 I told you. That was a tense moment. Mike got stuck. I did not get stuck. I was actually wondering, will I get stuck again? You see all the crowds that are waiting for me? The captain screaming at me. I mean, it would be disappointing for me to get stuck. I didn't. Why? Because I chose to drive carefully with the Isuzu. I got stuck a while back ago, but now I've redeemed myself. I am the king of the hill. Drums, please! So Trevor says he's the king of the hill just because he managed to wade through water. But as you can see, he's quite buoyant. So, Trevor, you think you're the king of the hill? What do you mean? I'm the king of the hill. I am Mufasa. I am the king. The throne belongs to me. Really? Yes. Well, maybe you spoke too soon. We are going down to an even tougher course. And let's see if Trevor can beat Mike. Guys, this is it. The block and tackle. This is a level five incline. It's the toughest hill in this park. I'm gonna take it on. Do you think I'll make it? I know I will. Let's go. I wanna see if I can do it. But I know I can. I know I will. And I shouldn't be hooting. This is it, let's go, just enough momentum. Right here, up. Momentum, momentum, up. Wow, this is... Whoa, that was steep. 
Damn, adrenaline, speak of adrenaline. Guys, this is the life. This is fun. Now I'm going to hand this car over to a tame racing driver. How tame? Trevor claims he's the king of the hill. Let's go see if he can do it. The Alpha male calls himself. This is where we separate boys from men. Are you the man? I am the man. He's the man. Move Take fast, it on, Trevor. It's your turn. Yes, we're getting it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Please don't fail on me. Don't fail on me. Don't fail on me. Don't fail. I am the king of the hill. I did it. I did it. I got it done. I tackled this hill. And I must tell you, my heart was racing. Blood was pumping in my head. I couldn't believe what I was doing, but hey, Isuzu delivers, as you can see. Now we're going to do 45 degrees. I'm 45, I'll make it. Will Trevor make it? As you can see, he's heavier than I am. That car will tip over. Trevor, you're finished. So let's see if this car can do it. As you can see, I'm at ease. Driving with one hand. Tipping over. Now, this is why Trevor will not make it. Imagine him at this angle. I am alive. I did it. Trevor can't do this. I am sure of it and I'm putting money on it. Oh, well, Mike says. I'll check it out. I did the block, block and tackle. I'm gonna do the 45 degrees. I'm just gonna show him who's boss, who's daddy. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Ladies and gentlemen, who's the king of the hill? The man with the b of steel. Big boy Trevor again does it again and again. Why? Because this Isuzu is as tough as nuts. I am telling you, the departure angle, the breakover angle in this car is unbelievable. I don't want to plug the product, but you've just seen it with your own eyes. I mean, the foil drive capability with the diff lock, this car can literally go anywhere. Guys, I hope we make it back. That was the gate of no return. We're going to the real top of the hill. I'm taking Trevor along with me. So guys, this is another tough one. The road has been uh, reinforced a little to give us better traction. And I am... Making my way up nice and slow. The three liter engine has enough torque to pull me up this hill and it's as easy as ever. It's going so well. I would do this every other weekend. Just enjoy myself going through mountain passes. We are going to the top of the hill. A few more kilometers and we will conquer South Africa's toughest off-road trail. So far, these cars have managed to prove they're built strong. Trevor is right behind me in a white D-Max and we are doing extremely well. One, two, three. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Yes. We are on top of the hill. <laughs> Who's the king of the hill? You decide. Trevor thinks he's the king of the hill because he had a queen with him. Of course, in being, the car. Being Mufasa, aka the guy with the three <laughs> of steel, mind you. Kids, I I made it to the top of this <laughs> hill courtesy of Jesus. Courtesy of technology, Trevor. Look, technology. If, if, if I you had, had an automatic. Now listen, those guys just excuse me. If, I, in if the car. I had my Futsubishi two wheel drive, yeah. I wouldn't have made it. But right. courtesy of Jesus, I mean, I'm, I'm here. I've had the best experience so far and it's just taught me pickups are just more than just carrying stuff. 
Guys, and you've seen how it's been built. We've taken you to the factory. We've taken you to the lab. We've shown you where the engines are tested. Now, nowhere else can you find information like this. Yes. We tell you what the car can do, how it does it, and we have fun doing so. The only thing we have not done, because out here there is no music, is danced. <laughs> and your Trevor loves to dance. <laughs> So we're gonna go away dancing. I don't know how you're gonna do this, but Trevor might trip and fall, and then he might not be able to take his queen down the hill. Trevor. Imagine that'll be very, very sad. But from us, from Out of Volt TV, reporting live from I looked at Ngongians, but it's not. It's Ilan's River Val River Valley. Valley. Ilan's River Valley. Where? So, so, somewhere in, in Port Elizabeth. Port Elizabeth. South Africa. Exotic South Africa. Yes. Huh? Guys. And you, and you can't get this kind of scenery anywhere. Anywhere else. else. Okay, you ready, Trevor? One, two, three. Let's go! Starting out from Out of All hey, TV, live in South Africa. This is Trevor Big Boy. See you all next week. You all know the email address info at outofalltv.com. And of course, you can like us on Facebook at Out of All TV or follow us on Twitter at Out of All underscore TV. See you all next week, guys. <laughs>